Welcome to our short time of reflection and prayer. This week's words of scripture are taken from Luke chapter 22 and the second half of verse 19. Do this in remembrance of me. This Sunday is Remembrance Sunday when we recall the men and women of our armed forces and civilians alike who sacrificed their youth, their hopes and some who gave their lives so that we may enjoy peace and prosperity. We do this lest we forget. Not only does their legacy live on in our acts of remembrance, but they have passed down to us something important. The baton of peace. Each year at the War Memorial or Cenotaph, we pledge to strive for peace and reconciliation in our land and throughout the world. Yet there is still conflict in the world. Wars and rumours of wars, acts of terrorism and increasing civil unrest. There are regional feuds and discontent among ethnic groups and families. What do you think they would make of the times that we are living through? Peace and security is important. For me, the peace and safety of my family and friends is important. For me, it is worth striving for. But is it worth killing for? The selfish gene that many laud will, will only lead to disappointment and destruction. What we need is something else. We need the selfless gene. And this gene is created by the merging of God's spirit with a person's heart. The Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, made the ultimate sacrifice on the cross and through his spirit inaugurated a new age. An age where love and peace and service can dispel fear and hatred and tear down barriers between peoples and nations. Imagine a world where the baton of peace is carried forward by a people truly determined to see the end of conflict. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's pray. Father God, at this time of remembrance, we honour the legacy of those who have gone before us, who stood in the gap and envisioned a world at peace. We remember because the price of forgetting is too great. We remember because they paid for the liberties we enjoy today. We remember so we may build the future they never saw. We remember also the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary. We recall his atoning death for each and every one of us and we recollect the transformational power of the resurrection available to all. Prince of Peace, help us to be the peacemakers in our communities. Help us to pass forward the baton of peace. Maranatha, Lord, may your kingdom come. Before we say the Lord's Prayer,
Kelmia Epitaph When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrow we gave our today. And now let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.